Hi, my name is Kevin McCarthy and I am the CEO of Strategic Ready People. Perfect. So in the simplest format, blind spots are the gap between reality and our interpretation of reality. So blind spots can negatively impact us at work, in our career, at home, throughout life because we're simply unaware of the influences that impact the dis quality of our decisions on a day in day out basis. And the quality of those decisions, uh, they can affect us large and small. I mean, if we're in a workplace and safety is our number one concern, if we're not paying attention, we can end up having accidents or you know, being the cause even unaware of accidents that could potentially happen because we're not paying attention to our potential blind spots. So the, one of the biggest I issues with blind spots is that uh, it really affects our performance whether it's again in the environment of safety or whether it's in leadership and running our organizations at large or whether it's in the financial or the accounting area i mean it just really affects every area of our lives and more importantly it affects our relationships one with another so if we have a lot of conflicts ultimately we have a lot of blind spots right so one of the biggest areas that we can begin to work on and it's a process uh, to be able to mitigate our blind spots so that we can make better decisions and have better behaviors uh, is to begin to become more self-aware so it starts with us it starts with admitting and owning the idea that i have blind spots and in in that not just stopping there but saying okay what can i do to mitigate what can i do to become uh, more aware of my blind spots and in doing that we become more self-aware and that's probably the biggest issue that we suffer from is we think we're self-aware. Uh, but according to Natasha Yurek, who has studied self-aware, and she's an occupational psychologist who wrote the book Insight, uh, she has determined that we are not as aware as we think we are. Only 10 to 15% of us are actually self-aware. So, so that means that we have a lot of room for growth. Um, I personally realized how unaware I was even as an executive and a leader of my organization years ago. And one of the best ways to help mitigate our blind spots as we're becoming self-aware is to surround ourselves by others who will tell us the truth. And that's not always as easy as it sounds. So we want to, we want to make sure that the people we associate with, that we have opened the door to allow them the freedom to tell us when they see a blind spot, because it's always easier to see other people's blind spots than it is our own. That, uh, when we work with organizations and help them uncover the blind spots in their teams and their performance and so forth, oftentimes, most of the time, frankly, the blind spots are right at the top. Um, because as a business owner or as an executive or a senior leader in the organization, oftentimes we think our companies are doing better than they are. Uh, or even if we have a suspicion that they could be doing better, the company could be doing better, we can't always put our finger on what it is. We start looking for a lot of different areas. We bring in sometimes strategic planning uh, consultants or experts to help in those areas, but we forget about the biggest area, which is in the people part of the formula. So performance ultimately boils down to beliefs and behaviors and perceptions. And so if, we don't, if we're not paying attention, first of all, to ourselves, uh, but then understanding what the perceptions are of the people in our organizations, then we've got a lot of blind spots. And so I always say, usually start to right at the top. I've got blind spots, therefore I need some, somebody else to help me point it out. 